I have an Excel file on my desktop and I want to do something for every row in this Excel file. This is the Excel file. You see that we have one sheet named sheet one and then we have two columns. We have the ID column and the name column with students. You see that here we have all the IDs and here we have all the names. Be careful, this Excel file has headers and this is something that we will see back later in this video. Let's open Power Automate Desktop. And let's start with launching Excel. So use the launch Excel activity, drag it to the middle. Now we're going to change launch Excel from with a blank document to and open the following document. We're going to define this document here. So just click here on the document symbol. Navigate to desktop or where you store this file and then click on students.xlsx. Click on save. After we've launched the Excel file, we want to read its data. So search for read. And then we need this activity, read from Excel worksheet. So drag this to the middle, put it here. And then you see that once we have launched the Excel file, we have created the Excel instance. So this one is called Excel instance. And if you open a second Excel file, it will be called Excel instance 2. So we're going to refer to Excel instance because we want to use this instance of Excel. And then retrieve, I'm going to change this from the value of a single cell to all available values from worksheets. Then there is one thing that we still need to do. I earlier showed you that this Excel file has headers. So we're going to click on advanced. And then we're going to enable first line of range contains column names. And if you don't do this, your first student will be called name instead of the actual name. So enable this one and then click on save. Then we're going to continue with the for each activity. For each, this one. And this is going to tell Power Automate that we want to do something for every line in this Excel file. And the value that we want to iterate is all the data in this worksheet. So click here on the X. Now we're going to click on the Excel data because that's the data that we want to iterate. Click select and then click on save. Now everything that we want to do for every Excel row, we have to put in the for each loop. So between this activity and this one, and I'm just going to show this with a display message. So search for display message. Display message, put it here. And then the message box title is going to be ID. And I want to display, click on X here. I want to display current item, so click select. And then I'm going to put, put here square brackets, double quotation marks. You can use single quotation marks as well. And then I'm going to put here ID. And this is referring to the name of the column. So this is referring to this. And the next one will be referring to this column, of course. Close this one. I'm just going to select this one and I'm going to copy it. Click on save. I'm going to use another display message. And here I'm going to call it name. So what you see here is the title of the message box. So this is what you see on top of the message box. I'm going to put this, this one here and I'm going to change ID for the name with a capital N. Click on save. And let's run a robot. See that we launch Excel and then we will start with ID 101. So that's the first student. Name is John. ID 102. Name is Jake. ID 103. And the name is Tom. And 104. And the name is Jessica. Of course, normally you don't want to display a message box, but you want to do something else. Everything you want to do for every line, just put it in the for each and your robot will work. I hope this video was useful for you. If it was, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you back in my next video.